In good health, the recommendations for cancer screening undergo constant updates all the time to stay current with new tests. And as we find out who will benefit the most, our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now with the newest updates on colon cancer screening. And it doesn't always mean a colonoscopy. No, it doesn't. But I will say a colonoscopy is still considered to be the best test because it allows doctors to go in and find polyps, which can be precancerous and then remove them. But there are new tests like the Cologuard, for example, that I talked about in an earlier story that identifies DNA of cancer in your stool without a colonoscopy, without a colonoscopy and that is a perfectly good test. It makes screening much easier. The key is you have to do it. In the United States this year, an estimated 134,000 people will be diagnosed with colorectal cancer and about 49,000 will die from the disease. Most colorectal cancer occurs after people are 50 and the rates go up as you get older. Dr. Douglas Owens, an author of the recommendation and a former member of the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force, says the group strongly recommends screening average risk adults age 50 to 75 for colorectal cancer and then making individual screening decisions for adults age 76 to 85, taking into account the patient's overall health and screening history. There are a number of ways to be screened for colorectal cancer, and the good news is, is that they are effective. Those include direct visualization tests like a colonoscopy and also stool-based tests. The important thing is that you choose one and be screened. The decision to screen for colorectal cancer in an older age group, over 76, should be individualized and take that patient's overall health into account. For people 76 to 85, the benefits of screening are smaller, but some people may still benefit. But here's the real issue. About a third of people in the United States who should be getting screening for colorectal cancer are not being screened currently, and that's an important missed opportunity. And remember, each screening tests need to be repeated at a different interval. So a colonoscopy is only needed every 10 years if you decide to go with that. But if you decide to go with stool testing alone, those tests generally need to be repeated every single year. Back to you.